Hi everybody, my name is Skylar Jade and in today's video we are going to be reviewing the Koi water bottle. This review did not go as good as I planned. I didn't get to make the art piece that I wanted that I had in my brain, but it was a good exercise and it was fun to paint with. I haven't cracked out my paint since school ended like a month and a half ago. But with that being said, ignore my messy background and my messy hair. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like. Tell me what you guys would like to see next time. Um, also, I have an Etsy shop for any of you that would be interested. I sell many, many different things. So um, yeah, good stuff. Well, let's go ahead and get on with the video. So you can see I got the Koi watercolors, the pocket filled sketch box edition. Um, let me see if I can get it open to one hand here. As you can see, it comes with a little paint tray, which I've already used quite a few times actually. And you can actually take this tray since it has little spokes and like pop it like right here into these holes and whatnot. And you'll have a little thingy or you can just set it up here or heck you can even use the lid as a little paint swatchy. And it comes with one of these brushes, but I don't really like one of these brushes because you can't control the water. But if you're on the go and whatnot, then it would be fine for you. And then little sponges to clean off your brushes. And then you can see all the colors. I'm not gonna do a swatch of these because I hate doing swatches. But you can see all the color palette. Sponges are super cute. Like look at, look at it go, it looks like a little french fry. But yeah, I usually just either like set this over on the side or just set it in here. Since I'm laying mine out flat on the table, I usually don't take this out very much actually. I just really like how compact and it was really what was it in my budget range at the time. So that's why I bought this. But all the colors are super nice as you'll see here in just a second. I usually mist my watercolors to get them activated first. You know, just take a spray bottle of water and mist the colors to kind of like get them saturated. But I've misplaced my spray bottle. So I'm just gonna have to suck it up and just do it the old-fashioned way. So everybody, today I am going to be um, painting a side profile of a mushroom cowgirl from Minecraft. Um, I don't know why I decided to paint a little mushroom girl, but uh, we're rolling with it. I don't even know why I decided to do a side profile because I've never really done one before. But I decided today is a day we're going to learn. So I'm actually using, as I previously mentioned, the Koi pocket filled sketch whatever and the brushes I got are just some cheap funds from Walmart. Everything will be linked down in the description below if you'd be interested in buying it. But I first started out with just a mini sketch and then I moved on to laying down all my colors. I actually use the wet on wet technique with the face. That way it's it's just where you wet the paper first with some water and then you lay the paint down if you're not familiar with it. And then I began to just spread color around. That way it lays out more even and you don't get such a stark like patch of pigment in one place with the wet on wet technique. I also use that technique for the hair and the ear as well because I feel like it just helps spread the pigment around the surface area of the paper a lot easier. Um, the, the skin tone that I used, I'll be mentioning this later, but I actually used that peachy skin tone you see right there in the palette, but I mixed a little bit of blue and yellow into it. The blue helps give it a more cooler feel to the skin, and I didn't want her to be really tan, although it would make sense for her to be tan because, you know, she's inspired by a cow. But I felt that a cooler skin tone suited this character a lot more. I also tried to give her a little cow nose, you know, like a little brown nose or reddish nose. It didn't work out too well in the end. Um, you can see here I'm shading the skin and the pigments in these paints are just so nice. Just really see the pigment coming out in these colors are very nice. And I wanted to touch up on why I don't actually use the water brushes. So the water brushes are great for travel, but I personally don't like painting with them because the water just comes out hot once or if you squeeze too hard too much water. With using regular paint brushes, you can actually use the amount of water you want. And the amount of water you use reflects how much pigment you're getting in your paint. Like the more water you use, the lighter color you're gonna have and the less water you use, you're gonna have a much thicker paint or a much darker paint. And that's why I just like using regular paintbrushes because you get way more control over the type of colors you get. So this palette really makes others pale in comparison to it. It's just so nice. Like the paints just feel really good and I really like it. You can see I'm laying down the hair right here and even though I tried to dilute the red a lot, you have to put a lot of water in just a tiny bit of red. And that just shows how pigmented in this, this um, palette is. The red is a super nice, rich, vibrant tone and I just adore it.
So you can see, even though I watered down the red pretty much in these areas, it's still very pigmented. And right here, that lush color is just so good. Sorry you can hear my dogs barking just a little bit, but um, you can see the colors are patchy. They blend together pretty decent. Um, I'm no watercolor expert, so I can't really tell you what the pros and cons are too much. I just know pigment when I see it, and these colors are things that have it. I have used palettes like the Windsor & Newton Student Palette that is supposed to be a mix between a actual artistry and student palette, so it doesn't have as many fillers in it. And this Koi watercolor just surpasses them in pigmentation. I do recommend the Windsor Newton palette if you cannot find this one on sale and you don't want to pay the full price, which I paid like $22 for this one, I think, which is amazing. $22 or $28, and then here's the full price. Um, I did find this one at Hobby Lobby, but I absolutely adore this palette. In comparison to other ones I've used, the um, saturation of colors is just so much better in this one. Now, some people would keep going with watercolors at this point, but I am not that talented with them yet and I shouldn't have been stupid and tried to do a side profile when I've not really practiced those too much but I decided today will be the day that we are going to practice them so I'm going to take I can't find my better color pencils I usually use master's touch colored pencils I haven't been able to find them since the move so I'm going to use these imagine ones the 24 pack um, you can get these at almost any dollar general or dollar store but I'm just gonna go in there and use them to add some extra shading details to just really make the painting pop because at this stage it's still very much a flat piece and I'm just not very I could go in with more watercolors and add more like shaping to the nose with maybe some blue or something like that But I just prefer to use colored pencils at this point So this painting obviously didn't take very long. Um, I didn't want to do a super intricate, super detailed, like realistic painting for you guys this week because, well, I was just afraid it would take way too long. It would be way too long to film. I would never get to upload because I haven't been able to upload for so long. But that being said, you can actually see the pigment of these watercolors. The red is gorgeous. I can believe me when I say the paintings are gorgeous I will go ahead and show you guys um, another painting that I actually took my time with and did with these watercolors I absolutely adore it it's one of my favorite paintings I really love it but with that being said you can just see color pigments I didn't swatch it this video because I just really want to upload twice a week for you guys and really get back on the ball now that I have more time because I recently quit a fast food job and I really just want to get things uploaded for you guys and I'm not gonna lie I've been really frustrated and having a lot of headaches lately and I've just been not in the mood, mood to film even though I really really want to and I have a content schedule for you guys it's been really hard for me lately but you can see I love how many different shades and variants you can get with this red all the way from a dark crimson to a really light pale pink it's just beautiful this also comes with a pre-made peach skin tone but if I'm being fair I prefer to mix my own skin tones so I did use the pink skin tone in this one but I mixed a little bit of blue and just a little bit of yellow in with it to give it a more cooler feel instead of such a warm in your face peach tone because um, when I'm making skin tones I prefer to either make them warmer or cooler depending on the character instead of using just a flat out peach is a tip for my newer um, some of my newer artists that might not know that you can mix yellow blue and red I believe to make different variants of skin this is also a study painting as well as you can see uh, it's not very good at all I've never actually painted a side profile before but I actually like like how it turned out I like how the eyes turned out and my color pencil skills are not that good these and then the lips as well um, they might be a little bit too plump and if you can't really tell what this is I don't know if I forgot to say it earlier um I was looking at pictures of a mushroom cow on Minecraft that's kind of what she's inspired by I think she's pretty cute um there's not a lot of whole detail in the face going on I didn't shade it spectacularly well but that is because once again I'm trying to upload quickly for you guys and I want to keep this pretty minimum to a detail because also I'm, I just really wasn't enjoying painting this this time 
Um, I just haven't been feeling really well, as I said earlier. So I'm recording right now with my really cruddy laptop camera, but I noticed when I was going back and editing this video, um, hey, future um, Skyloo here, by the way, but I really didn't give my final thoughts on these paints. So here it is. I feel like these are one of the better paint sets. I can't compare them to super high brands or the, um, I think it's the White Castle paint or whatever, whatever these are. I can't compare them to some of the top notch brands because I have not used top notch brands because I speak broke. I can, however, tell you that these are so much better than some of the other pans I've used. Like this unholy set right here that you buy from Walmart for like $8, don't buy those. They mold, they're junk, they're horrible, and they will mold and rip. I think the Windsor and Newton Student palette, the little pocket one, is nice, but when it comes down to it, the Koi just surpasses it by far. And the Koi watercolors for me have been on sale at my Hobby Lobby for months now. That one had been marked down forever, just no one had bought it, so I took the leap and I bought it. So, um, if you don't want to buy it at retail price, you can probably find it on sale online somewhere. But even at a full retail price, I still think it's worth it. Um, if you really look at the pigmentation of both paints side by side, the, uh, the Koi palette is just so much nicer. It really packs a punch with its pigment, and rather than being like a chalky laydown or something like that, like a chalky, um, paint or patchy, um, the Koi colors just lay out very smooth, very nice and just sharp, and I like it a lot. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching today today's video. Please let me know if you enjoyed it or if you didn't down in the comment section below. Um, that being said, if you wouldn't care, I would love it if you would go check out my Etsy shop. Um, it is linked in the description box below and there will also be a link on where you can buy the Koi set and everything I used in today's video down in the description box below. And please let me know what you guys want to see. Like, what do you want to see on this channel? I upload every Friday and Saturday at 3.30 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. So, because I'm kind of at a loss of what to record with right now and I really enjoy it though. I do enjoy it recording. It's just, I've been feeling good lately. All the excuses, you know, all the good excuses. And with that being said, I will see you guys next weekend. Bye.